Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with Anon Jr. Hopefully this is all going out live. I got a little weird delay on my, uh... Oh, uh, okay, there it goes. It caught up. <laughs> it's been that kind of day. Um, if you saw the tweet, then you'll know that I hurt my back a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna try to stick to this as well as I can. Uh, we may finish up early so that way I can rest up and not miss too much work while we're at it. Uh, the game plan today is to take care of a couple of loose ends on Tatooine, uh, at least while we have what we can. And um, off camera, I went and finished up the swoop bike racing so we could take care of the quests. It took a little while, a lot of repeated failing, and, <laughs> and finally... Uh, finally got everything squared away. So, let's run around, talk to all the minions real quick, make sure nobody's got any new storylines. Uh, there was one other bit, like when I finished the last race, somebody asked for my holograph outside of the racing center, uh, to which I graciously acquiesced. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to come back to uh, haunt me later or not. But we shall see. So let's start with yeah, Canvas and want? go through. Okay, he's got nothing Your more to choice. say. I'm here. And we know HK's gone as far as we can take him. There's nobody in there. Uh, storage. And... Oh yeah, that's right. Nobody's in there either. All right. I always ask him, and he never says anything. Anything? Okay. That was worth a shot. All right, and I think we've done everything we can with Zelda. There's something you want. Planet, problem, grenade, anything more? No. Okay. So pretty much the same thing we saw after we finished all the quest line on uh, Kashyyyk. Before I know what my role will be. Yada yada. Okay. Okay. It'll take a long time to say it, too. Okay. I think. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering what if we could talk. What is you would like to speak to me about? Oh, of no. course. Okay. If there is anything else, else I am here to help. Alrighty then. Let us. Let's get off the ship, and let's take Candorus and Juhani. Um, I know a couple of these guys leveled while I was out there, because I also went up and uh, picked up, <laughs> acquired some desert raid plates from some wandering herds, because I heard that the merchant on Yavin pays very nicely for those. So that will also be in the very near future. But first, we need to go down to the Speeder Club, because that was one of the quests on here that we never really finished. We need to go talk to Nico, and talk to him about his racing contract with the Huts. Also known as why you never make a contract with a Hut. And where is he? There you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi. You another racer, then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Nice job beating my times, too. I guess my heart isn't in the racing. Contracts are distracting oh. stuff. Uh, I want... I've talked to 
motto about you. Sure. I suppose we'll you've that. got a right to no track business, but with the times you've been posting. Why don't you want to deal it's with that? It's not that I'm not grateful. I mean, it would get me into the pros. I don't have the credits to get in on my own. Not that I care about credits. I just want to race. But the deal with Mata is pretty bad. He'll get well, most yeah, of what I win. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think he should sign the contract he offered. Uh, we've already exhausted all the other questions in previous episodes. See the archive on YouTube. If you're not already watching this on YouTube. So let's see if I can talk to the You've hut. posted some good times. He might listen to you. I would. I respect you as a racer, but I kind of doubt he'd give me a better deal. He doesn't have to. He's putting up most of the credits. Thanks anyway, but I'll think it through myself. All right. Uh, oh, I was hoping that box would be openable. All right. <laughs> let's talk to the hut. Let's try to do a deal with the hut. Uh, let's see you again. So is this about racing or business? One or the other. I've got no time for any demands. Aren't you cute when you read the word? Alright, let's talk about that business with Nico. Yeah, the contract trouble. If you talk to the young man, you don't get paid until he signs. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He's gonna pay me for that. Uh, I think you should give him a... Alright, because, yeah, we're not gonna go back to some basic questions. I'm definitely... Not going to be the enforcer, which he just brushes me off. I'll see what I can do, which means, yeah, I go back to him. So let's see. I think you should give him a better deal. <laughs> You're not going to pull that typical soup jockey attitude, are you? This is business. I know it's personal. Yeah, it's not personal, it's just business. What do you care whether I make money off the kid or not? He wants to race and he will get paid. We all win. Yeah, well, it's not just about winning. Uh huh. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. No. Let's go back to some basic questions. No. You give him a better deal or I bury you under your track. Tempting. We got Persuade, Trading Fairly, or I'll start rumors your races are rigged, although uh, my Persuade is not that high. Or I could just force Persuade, you want to give Nico a better deal. Typically, uh, according to Star Wars lore, the Huts are fairly resistant to force Persuade, but uh... Ah, what's the worst that could happen, right? Oh, hey, it worked. Huh. Okay. Of course I could just give him a better deal. Did I say that? Wait. I guess it does make sense. Okay. These times have suffered since I made the offer. I mean, swoop jocks are moving. They feel bad they don't win. Justify it however you want. I don't care. Alright, I'll give him a better deal and make it back in the long run. I guess you, of course, are not getting paid. Eh, fine. I totally forget you're gonna pay me to get him signed anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust this is the last I will have to hear about this matter. Was there anything else? Nope. I just gotta go let the kid know. Uh, okay. I'll be back later. Go to the don't hog the track with work runs. I need my pros to keep their skills up. You depress them. <laughs> oh. Yes, I depress them with a repeated failure. Repeated failure. Journal entry added. Experience points received. Alright. You again? I don't really <laughs> feel like talking right now. I don't care if you don't feel like talking to me. I talked to Mato about you. I suppose you. you've got a right to no track business, but with I the times you've been posting, I convinced Mato to give you a better you contract. I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a big circuit races. right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's no more track on Terrace, so that's one less place you can go to race, right? Too soon? 
All right. When do you Hard think you'll tell. be leaving? I'll get some more Hard runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Goodbye. Thanks again. Good luck. I meant it. All right. So we got some XP. We got some journal entries. Nice. Bastila Jihani. Okay. Then I guess we're done with that. And I believe that's everything on Terrace, right? Let me just double check that quest log real quick. Alright. I gotta talk to Jolie some more. Gotta talk to Kander some more. Bastila, I think we're done. But I may need to talk to her again. Jihani won't say anything until we get some more. Probably another level. HK is done. We're still on the quest for the Star Forge. We got this dude who wants to talk to us on Manan. And we got Karth's kid over on Korriban. That one's going to be a little bit later. Rushed off to brew up a batch of Teresian ale to deliver to his business connection. However, the credits he promised had materialized. Meet him later in the Zerker supply shop on Tatooine to collect the debt. That's the only mission left on here that has anything to do with Tatooine. So, let me change up the party a little bit. Let me remove her, add her. Okay. Now let's check in at the office and then we will, uh, Zip on out to go make some more money. Huh. Imagine that. No griff. Who, who would have thought? I'm shocked, I tell you. Shocked. I can hardly contain the shock in my voice that griff didn't return with the money. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think we all pretty much expected that one. Mr. Uh, hey, could I bum some credits? Thank you for saving my life. And, uh, could I bum some more credits? Alright. Just for kicks. Oh, that's not where Jolie is. Let's give him one more talk. Just the same. Got something on your mind, do you? You never did say Oh, I never did, did I? Nope. <laughs> Answer the question, old man. No. You know, I don't have to take you with me? Yeah, that doesn't seem the way we've been going either. So let's go with, are you always going to be this elusive? Elusive? Me elusive? Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Andorin Willick juice. At any rate, no, I already told I you why I wanted to leave. Mm. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. Uh-huh. <laughs> you looked plenty happy there. Yeah, I don't believe you. Do I go with the direct, I don't want, I don't believe you, or you looked pretty happy there? Or move on to where? Let's go with... I don't believe The Hermit you. says he's tired of living alone in the giant forest, and you find that hard to believe. How cynical are you? How many kilometer <laughs> high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I would bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then well, there's all the, show the must go on. and the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. You could do so that on your own. Well, not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. Okay, I'll that's admit, fair. For all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Uh, there it is. Uh, do you know what destiny is? Not. Weren't you listening last time? Okay. 
I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... Hmm. Something is very dark about you, but... That, pay no attention to I'm that sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Hmm. <laughs> so you're coming along to not offer your opinions? As tempting as it is, let me go. Nah, tell me more what you see. The future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't That's worry fair. about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can't be all bad. Who's Nomi? Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as oh. you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. Hey, phrasing. <laughs> I don't bring you along for amusement, you know, so you're coming along as some kind of observer, or I don't need another mentor. Let's go with so you're coming along as some kind Nonsense. of observer. If I ever refuse to help you when you asked, how confused can one person be anyway? One thing I, I will know. say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, uh, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. <laughs> shoo! Shoo! <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, so... We got that done. Ah, eh, before I go any further, let me just double check and make sure that was as far as we could go, or if we could get any further. You got something on your mind, do you? Nope, never oh, mind. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's well, half I mean, senile. He'll forget I said fits. anything. Wait, well, uh, what was this about, anyway? Nothing, old man. Nothing at all. All right. And just for kicks, let's try these two. Well, I think we've, as far as we can. When we last talked, you said you needed time to think. Okay, You've let's try it. You've been with me, haven't you? I suppose you deserve an answer. But you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. You like with me. all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't mean to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. Oh. What is it supposed to be like, or what are you trying to say exactly? Mm. Let's go with... What are you trying Every to say exactly? I call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, Basil, that starship won't fly. I'm not interested. Or are you interested in me or in my ability to use the Force? That's the fairer question. The Force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. Oh. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain... Intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantuin. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. <laughs> ah. Just give in. You could leave if you had to. Because I'm not going to say, but I don't feel anything for you. And I'm not going to go, if you have something to say, just say it. Uh, so, just give in is probably going to trigger a lecture about giving in to feelings and dark side and all that. So let's go with, you could leave if you had and go to. Where? I am needed here, just as you are. There is nothing that is more important than what we are doing, which is why we need to resolve this. I think 
I think we should have some privacy for this. Come with me. Oh. Do I need to up the rating of my channel to show this part of the video? You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways, you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. Sure. Let's egg this on. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. Okay. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result uh -huh. of our powerful bond. I can't believe that's an option. That's okay. I never felt anything for you anyway. That's it. It's all over. You're rationalizing. So I was just a stepping stone to you becoming a master. Yeah, that's how you get hit. So... Uh, You're try. the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if At I let myself be blinded that? by my feelings for you? Sure. Let's try it. You you mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go with that I first option. I mean I can't. Malik will Shut up and kiss me, you babbling fool. That's one of the options. Let's try the less ridiculous okay, one. Okay, you've made your point. Now shut up and kiss me, you fool. Okay, one of them was gonna say it. Is that how we keep the we low rating? We just kind of fade to black. And... The Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. It didn't feel wrong to me, or we're not going back to this again, are we? It was... it was a moment of weakness. When I kissed you, we shouldn't have. I'm sorry, no. I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi, we can't act like this. Not now. Not while we still have to deal with Malak. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together. Okay. Because that wasn't weird. Is there another conversation to have? Like, are we going to have a morning after chat? The moment after? Okay, that's an option. We've, we've already been over this. It was a moment of weakness. A stumble brought on by unbridled passions. But my emotions are firmly in check once more. We need to stay focused mm -hmm. on stopping Darth Malak. And I want the others to stay focused as well. I don't want them to get suspicious and start gossiping about our little encounter. So until uh -huh. our mission is over, we need to act with discretion. We shouldn't speak of this anymore. Not until Malak is defeated. Well, okay then. What about you, Mr. Karth? You, you got anything worth... Oh, wait, that's right. Uh... I think it's just going to be about his kid. Talk Let's about go ahead. what? The only thing I want to yeah. do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. All right. So, oh. since this game has historically had all sorts of fun crashes, let me go ahead and save the game before we start taking off. Now, I forgot to mention at the top, the game actually received an update. When I went to go do the soup bike racing yesterday, I ended up having to deliver or download a 3 gig update for the game as old as it is, in part because a group I forget the name of, it's on the Steam news page for this game, uh, a group put together some updated graphical assets, and I'm wondering 
if the issue that caused it to crash while streaming got fixed. But just on the safe side, I'm going to go to Straight Desktop Capture. And I've already saved it, so we'll hit up the Galaxy map and we're going to head over to Yavin first so we can get to the space station, sell off those uh, racing vouchers we won and some of the other stuff, and then we'll see what's going on. All right. That's encouraging. And away we go. <laughs> All right. Pretty videos. I mean, I like them for the cinematic part, but I... We just need a cutscene. We don't need the videos. Just take us to where we gotta go. There we go. All right, we made it safely. You know what? Let's go ahead and save that now. <laughs> Yay, we successfully traveled. Save the game. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't be like that, but uh, that is the peril of playing old games sometimes. All right, let's see. Now, there is a chance for a random encounter with some pirates that like to harass this dude, so we need some people who can handle some dudes. Let's go ahead and let's definitely take Candorus. And... Hmm, I could take HK-47. I could take Jolie if I want him to keep dying on me. Juhani or Zalabar. Let's take Juhani. Because I haven't done much work with her and I, I don't think I'm going to be able to advance her storyline much more until I do a little more work with her. So we'll go, okay, are you sure? Okay. All right, and away we go. I'm going to have to hit these doors all the way through on the way in. Okay, fine. Down the obnoxiously long heart. Oh! Hello! That's not enough. We know you have more and we want it now. Uh, <laughs> well, you can't just rewrite our agreement whenever you feel like it. The exchange won't stop. Dude, you're getting... Sh <laughs> They're shaking you down. Dual wielding some big honking swords. I don't know. This, this doesn't look like it's about to go well. Or that. <laughs> A stranger? You haven't been telling us everything, have you? Tell you everything? What are you talking about? I don't have to clear everything for you. All right, so I've got a few different options. I could say I represent the exchange. Nah, that's lying. That's not fitting my good persona. Leave, I'm not going to tell you a second time. That's on the table. I'm just going to be leaving now. That's not on the table. If you're going to blast him, at least cut me in on something. No. I think you guys better leave. 
better. All right, let's first ask what's going on here. <laughs> They're trying to extort me, that's what. They think that just because the exchange is gone, they can take whatever they want from me. Well, I know the exchange was headed on terrorists, but I, I don't know that I'd describe it as gone. <laughs> We're renegotiating our contract. Pray we don't renegotiate any further. Oh, wait, no, no. Mixing movies. All right, uh... So my options have been narrowed down to, I'm going to leave. If you're going to blast him, at least cut me in on something, or I think you guys better leave. Yeah, I think you guys better leave. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> That's it, now you die. Dead or alive, you're leaving. I could force persuade them to leave now. Or I'll ask you again, very politely. Uh, there's a part of me that wants to do the Force Persuade. But there's a part of me that actually wants to provoke a fight. I mean... To to try to negotiate things, and it, it'd be a shame if the negotiations broke down because, you know, I said the wrong thing. Right? No? Yeah, no? Alright, uh... <laughs> Let's try, or I will ask you again, very politely. <laughs> you seek to mock us, human? Why, yes, I seek to mock you. No, don't fight it here, you'll destroy everything. We'll be back for you, human, and you as well. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, but I don't think that ended very well at all. They can be impulsive sometimes, they may be back in force. Okay. <laughs> Still, at least I end up on one piece, right? Alright, so. Good sir. Let's talk sales. What do you want? Uh. What did those Trandosians want? <laughs> they wanted me to give them more of my inventions, stuff I haven't even finished working on. Ever since Davik went down, the exchange has been a non-factor in these parts. The Trandosians are trying to muscle in on all the old exchange business now. Okay, that's fair. Maybe I can still work something out with them. Thank you for being here, though. It may have gone less pleasantly if you hadn't have shown up. I don't know how it could have gone less pleasant, but there we are. Is there something else you want? Uh, no, I don't want to play Bazak. So let's talk about buying and selling. Here, Ooh, we got some new stuff on the list. First, let's see how much money we have to work with. We're going to keep the med packs, the antidote kits, the repair kits, the construction kits. I'm tempted to hang on to the security spikes and security spike tunnelers. Uh, and I'm also tempted to sell them because I can always get a T3 to make me some more. I'll think about that one for a second. Alright, so I got this wonderful Mandalorian battle armor that my only two heavy armor wearing fools already have better armor. So let's sell that. <laughs> this item is worth more than 250 credits. Do you still wish to sell it? Why yes, yes I do. Alright. This is not an upgradable sword. It does plus two cold, three to twelve. Uh, but Baka's ceremonial blade does a lot more. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to hang on. Yeah, I know. Gonna hang on to missions, I'm gonna hang on to the prototype. Oh, and a regular run of the mill Vibro Sword we don't need. 
We'll uh, sell that. We're going to hang on to Bendex blasters. These Mandalorian blasters are useless. So let's go ahead and sell. Yeah. Sell. Yeah. Sell. The Sith Assassin pistol is also useless. So let's go ahead and sell that. The Mandalorian Ripper. That is a pistol. Hmm. That's right. I've already checked everybody's pistol wielding powers and that's not better than what they have. And unlike Bendex Blaster, it is not upgradable. So let's go ahead and sell the Mandalorian Rippers. And seeing Judas Priest the Ripper. Okay. We're keeping Zalvar's Bowcaster because we can finish upgrading that and it might be better than the one he's using right now. We got the Blaster Cannon and the Mandalorian Assault Rifle. They both do about the same. And the Mandalorian Assault Rifle, although again, as nice as it is, I think our people who can use assault rifles are already using better, but I'll hold off on that one. Uh, pretty sure we're in the same spot with the blaster cannon. We got some concussion grenades, that's worth keeping. We sell the poison grenade before that goes badly. Sonic plasma ion. Alright, Davix visor. I think everybody that needs improved power blast already has it. I might hang on to that though. Motion detection goggles, that's gonna bump awareness, demolitions, and security. And the only person who really could make the best use of that already has one that gives better bonuses, so let's sell that. The will save. I'll hold off on that. I'm pretty sure everybody that needs it already has that or something better. The strength gauntlets I'll hang on to. Shields. Uh, I, I've never heard somebody say I have too many shields. The nerve amplifier belt is immune to mind affecting stuff. So I think we'll keep that for a little bit longer. And we got the stems. You know what, since we got these Hyper Clarity, Stamina, and Strength, let's go ahead and get rid of the lower level ones just because uh, we don't use them all that often and we got the better version already ready. Let's sell. Alright, so we'll keep those guys there. We got some battle stimulant, which is also very nice. We got the armor reinforcement that we're going to keep just in case we've run across another upgradable armor. Oh yeah. Okay. Not the biggest profit, but remember this guy's buying them for 64 credits and the hunting lodge back on Tatooine is only buying them for 24 credits. So that is a tidy little profit. Kind of wish I'd known that sooner. I'd have saved the other ones. We're going to keep the mesh underlay in case we run across uh, reinforced armor. And the racing bonds. Oh yeah, he buys these at 156, whereas they go for far less on Tatooine. So let's sell those jokers. Walk away with some tidy pocket cash. I kind of wish there was a sell all, but oh well. I mean, how often are you selling a stack of 99 anything, right? Sell, sell, sell. Oh yeah, look at that profit grow. It's a beautiful sight. And the other 21. 
Good thing they don't change what he'll uh, buy them for based on how many you've already sold. That could have been bad. All right, we're going to keep the droid energy shield because eventually one of the two is going to run through theirs, and that would be nice to have. Same for the environment shield. And the advanced stun ray. I haven't been using it, but I'm going to hang on to that. So I've sold everything that I want to sell. Definitely thinned out the old inventory. Let's go to the buy list now. And let's think. Hmm. Environmental Baston Armor. That is now in our price range. Gives a defense bonus of 7. Max dex of plus 3. 100% immune to cold, fire, and sonic. And it is upgradable. I wonder if that's better than the armor I'm wearing right now. Uh, light exoskeleton that uh, gives a defense bonus of six, max dex of plus five, and a bump to dexterity strength that is upgradable. Huh. What I come back to, I wonder. I wonder if that would be worth it, because that is cheaper than the uh, environmental armor. I don't get the immunity to cold, fire, etc., etc. But I do get a bump to dex and strength, which is always nice. And upgradable probably adds a few more things, so I might think about that. I gotta, uh, hmm. I gotta double check what I've got on uh, on the current armor. All right, that says Barragwin Shadow Armor. For a second there, I really thought it said Bargain Shadow Armor. And I was like, I'm always looking for some bargain armor, but you know. <laughs> All right. All right, nice defense bonus, nice max dex. The stealth, ooh. I haven't been using that though. I mean, as, lo as much as I'd like to really crank up um, uh, the kid, mission, a as much as I'd like to crank up mission's stealth bonus, I haven't been making use of it. I don't know if you've noticed, but stealth isn't exactly my strong suit, not in this game. Now, if we were playing like Skyrim or Fallout, yeah, I, I then crank up the stealth because it's easier to survive longer if you... Uh, can kill them before they know they're under fire but it doesn't seem to work that way in this game so i haven't been doing too much with that we got a heavy exoskeleton which counts as medium armor which we can use that gives a decent defense bonus nine another plus two constitution of plus one which is always helpful strength of plus two which is immediately useful and it is upgradable. Hmm. The Mandalorian battle armor is what I sold him. So, might have to do some thinking because I don't have money for more than one of these suits. So I'd have to see who could make the best use of it and if it would be worth it. Like the heavy exoskeleton armor since that's medium armor even if it only provided the same defense based off of the defense bonus and max dex bonus as what I've currently got, the bump in strength would be immediately useful because that would be a bump in damage done with the lightsaber. And it's easier to win if you kill them first. <laughs> Cranking up the damage would be a good way to handle that. So I might have to think on that one a little bit. And let's see. All right, that's not bargain assault blade. That is Baragwin. Um. Yeah, no. I mean, it's upgradable, but uh, it's not that much better, and it's awfully expensive for something that nobody's probably going to use. All right, a lot of those are stuff I already sold back. So what about the Baragwin Assault Gun? That's a heavy weapon, so that means it's going to be either Candorous or HK. It's 3 to 20 energy damage. 
upgradable range just a light repeating blaster that might be worth it that is awfully expensive though that's just shy of half of what we've got for credits but that's 3 to 20 damage ion x weapon does far less damage yeah raise biomask Plus one to all saves, not bad. And makes you immune to mind affecting and poison. That's a lot in one device. And at 6k, it's not as bad as a... <laughs> I, who would have thought that I'd be at a point where I could say, 6k, that's not that bad. All right. Uh, since it does require light armor proficiency, that does limit who can use it, though. Alright, motion detection goggles. We got some advanced stabilizer. I forgot to put my phone on silent. There we go. Okay. We got the advanced stabilizer gloves that would increase dex by three so that means no matter who wore it they'd get at least a plus one to all dex based stuff so that is defense that is uh if they're swinging a lightsaber their ability to hit and blaster bolt deflection makes that feel like it's really useful for the jedi in our lives all right Yeah, I think I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time with the equipment list of what we've already got. Because now we get the combat, bonus feed, weapon focus, weapon focus, weapon fo- ooh. So for a mere 7k, somebody could get proficient with, well, everything. Not just proficient, but weapon spec on everything. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. That is a bump to everything. For 7k. That's a lot of feats crammed into one device for 7k. That... But who would use it? Because... Not a one of those weapons proficiencies is lightsabers. So that rules out the four Jedi. One of the droids could pick it up. Which could be nice. No, because it's an advanced combat implant. So no, that's not going to be any of the droids. Um, Zalbar could use it. That bumps up his everything. Candorus could use it. Although I'm not sure that's better or worse than what he's already got. Hmm, I'll have to think on that one too. Alright, maybe I'll do the rest of the shopping off camera when I can keep skipping back and forth and back and forth. Immune to mind affecting and poison is always nice. The meds, <laughs> the race bonds and the desert raid that I just sold. Composite heavy plating. Ooh. That is going to bump the droid's defense bonus to 13. HK could probably use something like that. An unlimited energy shield? Ooh. Ooh. So this is like the light droid energy shield, except unlimited uses. I might just buy two of these right out the gate because that means I, and then I can go ahead and sell the rest of the shields because I don't need to hang on to these if uh yeah so if it's going to be the light shield so it's probably somewhere in this ballpark of 
20 to 20 to 30 points of damage. Hmm. Yeah, I just I might do that. All right, shield disruptors, better you. Oh. Okay. So the, all these Bergwin devices are unlimited uses. An unlimited flamethrower is always nice. An unlimited stun is always nice. An unlimited shield disruptor is always nice. Uh, hmm. That is tempting. All right, that's where the money might go. All right, let me close the list for right now. We might come back and do that another day. I'm wondering. That's a defense bonus of 7 plus 5 max dex. Bringing my defense up to 28. So, here's the question. How much of that is from the dex bonus? Go here. Dex is plus 4. Okay. So we're going 7 plus another 4 is coming from this armor. Uh, so that gives me an 11 total out of light armor. Uh, feats. And I've got up to medium. Of course, that's just going to blow all my... Uh, all my money on one of the armors, whereas I might get better out of hooking one of these guys up. Yeah, because right now he's just getting a bump of plus one off of the decks. Whereas... Well, he's already got most of the proficiencies, but that would get him up to specialization on all of them. Which could be more useful. That makes him a little bit more flexible with what kind of weapon we can give him. Uh, and since Jahani's just going to be a, um, a Jedi. What? All right. Yeah. Let's skip on the purchase for now. Let's save the credits and uh, think about that one. Maybe we'll come back off camera and do a little more comparative shopping. And. Uh, and then go from there. Oop. Seriously, guys. Oh, so this is like when we were playing D&D &D and everybody's waiting for the Warforge to catch up. So we've got that done. Let's, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and save now anyway. Okay. Now we've got two planets left that we can go to. We can go to Korriban or Manan. I have a funny feeling that Manan is going to be where we need to go. Next going to <laughs> the planet of the Sith. It's probably not going to be conducive to our long-term health, so let's go here. Alright, I've got this set to the regular desktop capture, just in case that helps. Here we go. Oh, good. Cool. Okay. It's working. And it's working well. Hello, hello to everybody joining in. Hope y'all are doing well tonight. We have found the star maps on Dantooine, Tatooine, and Kashyyyk. And we are now headed off to Manan, which I'm almost certainly not pronouncing right. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that one as we go. We've been having better luck than usual with these video transitions. Uh-oh. 
dream time. Oh no, toss, turn, such drama. Ooh, trippy. Okay. Those bubbles, I'm guessing, are somewhere under the water. Yeah, because it doesn't seem to be a whole lot above the water, so, uh... Alright. Let us see what we saw, shall see, huh? dreams, more cutscenes. Oh. You felt it, yes? Another vision. You the force it, continues. Yes. Oh, Another vision. There we go. The force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. Oh. Tatooine was also supposed to be nothing but sand, but uh Maybe the land was once above the surface? It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkath. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. I hope it is more clear. Alright, here we go. Back to our regular view. We've successfully landed, so let's go ahead and save now. That way we don't have to go through the risk of something glitching later. Alright. Alright. Let's take some characters that I haven't taken in a while. Are you sure? Yep. I'm sure. around here. Sure would be nice if somebody just left a, a care package for whoever happened to land. I mean, it'd be really nice, wouldn't it? No? Healer? Actually, I probably need to make one more change to my party selection. Because they're probably going to ask me about a docking fee. And I may just want to force persuade them to uh, say, what docking fee? So let me add the two people who won't care if I force persuade them to go, eh, what docking fee? I mean, not that a Jedi would ever abuse his powers that way. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. Ooh. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. Okay. Good to know. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Eh, no, sure. really. I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself. As you Jedi do. Is there anything I can yeah, help you, you with? You should. Well, Sith these damn Sith are so everywhere on Manon, pushing us for public citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. 
breaking the law? Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. Uh, what is Colto? <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, no, but I'm everyone knows what Colto is. It's the Memory most powerful loss. healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize uh. it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Alright, uh... So why the they Selkath the think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, that's, and they threaten to destroy fair. the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. That's I think not they're fair. underestimating the lane the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you <laughs> require? Uh, have you seen an ancient uh, star map? star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's it? Okay. Uh, tell me about um, the city. It's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders, and as a base of operations to export Colto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. And Republic the Republic of Sith think that by here? staying neutral, they can play both sides, okay. selling Colto so to everyone to that needs neutral. it, for making themselves too valuable got it, got it. to be worth They're being conquering. Switched well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the lane the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Alright, so I've asked about the star map, I've asked why the Sith upset him so much, I asked him about Colto, so I think that's everything I could talk to you about. Of Never course. Mind. Time to go. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, north then north, south. then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. <laughs> North and south and east and east. Uh, okay. Here, dude. And we got another Republic soldier there. Got boxes? No. What you get? Yeah, I say? can't talk now. I've got to get this culto loaded up before my shift is over. Okay, then. You get that loaded up. Alright, you're the guy I already talked to. Ooh, a merchant. And what would you like to merch, good sir? Ooh. Ah, Maybe so we meet again, Candorus. It has been quite a long time. Joggy? Who is this overly dramatic guy? Okay, no, let's go with Dino. He he was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Althir, but I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had set on that attack had perished. You sent us to die oh. in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it, so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. Uh... Let's double check if this is I true. I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Candorus. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished, and I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. Uh... What are you gonna do? Or if you face him, you face me as well. Eh... Yeah. Let's do the camaraderie thing. I am thing. afraid of you. And if you choose, you can die by his side as well. I challenge you, Kendris. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir, in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. 
Oh. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here, and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the huh. Doom Seas of Tatooine. A final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Kendris. Well, okay then. Uh, you got anything I've to say? I've been given a challenge I can't ignore. We've got to go to the Dune Seas of Tatooine so I can find Jagi and kill him for his insult to me. Uh, hmm. Yeah, what this happened is between me and Jagi. You don't have to get involved. If you're lucky, he might spill something before I spread him in a paste over the dunes. Well, okay then. <laughs> Welcome to the Atta City Visitors Provision. You need a shorter name for that. We're here to provide visitors with all manners of indigenous treats, etc. We carry all manner of foods, provisions, have contacts with resellers across the world, provide you, the customer, with the best shipping ex oh, shopping experience possible. Okay. Wada, 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 wada. Alright. How is it that the Yato City Provisional Company can help you today? How indeed. Alright, tell me about the city. It is the center of trade and commerce for all of Nam, indeed for this entire sector. It is the only well-known source, or sorry, the only known source of Kulto in the galaxy, thus one of the most important worlds. The city was constructed by we so that other races and cultures could experience the wonders that Manon has to offer. Alright, so tell me about the plan. It is the home world of the Soul Calf. It is here that our races lived and thrived for uncounted millennia. With our valuable supply of culto, we have become an important player in intergalactic politics. We have taken a neutral stance in the current galactic war between the Sith and the Republic, as we believe that violence is not a permanent solution. Well, it's permanent for one side. It's another way in which I can assist you. Alright, what you got? Of course. We're going to service you, the customer. Shut up and show me what you got. Alright, med packs and repair kits and antidotes and computer spikes and parts and detonators and plasma grenades and other grenades and... Oh, okay. So you're just a bog standard merchant. Well, I'm... Okay. Maybe, maybe the fish joke was uncalled for. Well, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> Forgive me, this seems an odd question, but might you have any exotic species for sale? Nothing dangerous. Uh, well, I did have those uh, little critters on my ship, but I kind of poisoned them, so... Uh, Alright. Maybe you'll give me a quest to pick some more up. Anything non sentient and non carnivorous would do. Just that are easy to manage. Uh, why would you ever buy them? Okay, for explosion away from other planets. Setting up a zoological compound for visitors by the or for visitation by the public. The only problem right now is actually procuring the exotic species we need. Import restrictions are quite prohibitive to say the least. Uh so you wanna smuggle them in? <laughs> I would not use such a harsh world. 
Let us say that I'm interested in engaging in private trade. That is allowed according to our laws. Oh, okay. Private trade. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please remember your PC and be interesting. Well, okay then. Now, now I wish I hadn't have killed the, uh, whatchamacallits off. Alright, that's West Central. This is Docking Bay 26 Bravo. What is in Docking Bay 26 Bravo? Uh, <laughs> leaving the city security zone, cameras deactivated? Okay. Uh, I might come back to that one later. Security droid, security droid. And what's through the doors? Alright. Not much. Docking Bay 26A. Yeah, that's it. Docking Bay 26A. Alright, um... Hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to make it to my normal hours, so, or the normal run. I can't fast travel. Alright. So let me run the long way back. I will tempt fate one more time by heading to Tatooine to take care of the uh, side quest for Candorus. And then I will probably call it a night. I know it's a little shorter. Okay, it's a lot shorter than normal. But uh, while I am currently doing okay, I don't want to push it because I do still have work. Well, I hope to have work tomorrow. You know, there's only but so many uh, sick days that you can take. Let's hop on. Okay, so it's going to say that no matter which docking bay you go to. Okay. That's interesting. But I didn't go into the security zone. Let's head over to our map. Let us go ahead and save our game just in case it goes sideways. Get to the desktop record. And where is that's Dantooine? Tatooine. There we go. All right, let's go find out where on the Dune Sea it is that we need to go pay the blood debt and all that. And away we fly. With overly dramatic music and everything. Aww. Be under attack. We're about to be under attack. Well, okay then. Fine. I'll take care of you guys too. Just uh, over here somewhere? Yes. Yeah. I got one, I got one. Yeah, I got one. Is 
that how that goes? There we go. All right. So is that going to buff out, or am I going to have to sick one of my minions on this while we go play in the desert? And away we fly. Back to Tatooine for like the third time we go. Oh, well. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's not the last time we get here for such a trivial, unimportant rock. For such a trivial, unimportant sand dune. A lot of Star Wars lore seems to revolve around Tatooine. I'm just saying. So, let's go get our mercenary and, uh, do mercenary things. Something like that. Alright. Next, the Ebon Hawk. This is Candorus' thing, so we'll take him. Let's take our Jedi Guardian, because having somebody good with a sword is usually a good idea. Just in case. place looks so familiar. Alright, onward and forward. All the way out to the sea. Or are we about to get assaulted by another dark Jedi again? Violence in the streets of Tatooine? Why, I would have never expected such a thing. All the tourist material says that this is a wonderful place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, dude. Let me through the wall. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting out there. Oh, how convenient. I wonder if we'll run across any more, uh, raid. Alright, um... Uh, Sandcrawler, Accident Site, Eastern Dune Sea, Sand People Territory. Alright, Candor's Toll, yada yada. Oh, there we go. Candorus was approached by a man who had fought, yada yada, yada yada, duel him in the Dune Seas. Just as in the Dune Sea. I'd imagine it's somewhere around here then. Unless it is in the East Dune Sea. Alright dude. Where is your boy? Where is this duel gonna go down? Second dead body on the left. Well, since we're here, and they're worth money, might be worth it getting those two guys, or getting those read. Alright, those are the usual guys, just yakking and yakking. Alright. Let's take care of these guys while we're at it. I know a guy in Yavin who pays top dollar for their skulls. Or plates. Let's go ahead and hit you with stasis. And we'll throw some sabers, and there we go. Oh, he made the save. Oh, 
Hey, both of them leveled up. Good thing I brought them. Alright, let's level you up. Skills. Read injury and sure, we'll bump up your awareness because those are like, <laughs> you only have two skill points. Powers. Alright. see. I wouldn't mind giving you Force Wave, but that's not until character level 15. Uh, that's Dark Side Power, which we're trying to move you away from. You don't quite qualify for Stasis Field yet. Oh, well, we could do the Stun Droid. That's always a favorite. We could do the Improved Energy Resistance, which is always nice. Or the Force Armor. Yeah, let's do the Force Armor. Okay. And accept. Is moving up on the light side scale. Always good. And let's level up Kanders. Oh, he's not as dark as he used to be, too. Huh. Alright, skills. You get one point. We'll put it in treat injury. You get another feat. Alright, so we've maxed out your armor, we've maxed out your implants, we've maxed out your blaster stuff. Uh, ooh, let's go ahead and max out the blaster rifle spec. That'll open up some options. Because we're not going to do dueling. That would require you to switch down to a blaster pistol, which not as proficient with. Yeah. And we're not going to go the two-weapon fighting because the rifles and heavy weapons don't count. All right. Yes? So, you know what? Let's go ahead and save that leveling. Okay, okay. And let's change up the party selection a little bit. Him, I gotta keep anyway, so let's remove her. Let's grab... Actually, you know what? Because I think there's still more discussion to go. We've taken Z as far as his backstory goes. We That little droid has no backstory. We've taken Mission as far as her backstory goes. We've done as much with HK as we can. Uh, we could work on Jolie a little bit. Because we're going to have to get more experience with him to get him to level up. And Jahani, yeah. Alright, let's go with Jolie. Maybe if we get his level up high enough, he won't die immediately. Alright. Oh. Speaking of leveling up. Hello, good sir. Skills. You get one point. Okay. Powers. You get a power. You've already bumped up your cure and all that. We do the improved energy resistance. We do the forced resistance. Burst of speed. We can't bump that up just yet. Can't do the force wave just yet. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you down the forced resistance line. Okay. Let's get the skull plate. And the skull plate. I chase them down without wandering too far away from where I want to be. Oh, except for the fact that I don't know where I want to be. Yeah.
good. He didn't die in combat. Oh, nice. Hello, credits. All right. Where if... All right, if I were a bunch of Mandalorians bent on a duel, where would I go? This was the site of the ambush. Alright, let's check the eastern dune sea first, and then we'll come back around to the other side that we didn't check on here. Although, honestly, I would have expected it to be uh, a little closer by. Give us any useful points of interest. The Sand People territory and to the car to the Dragon Cave. Eh. So nothing too helpful. Hello. I hear somebody's looking for a duel. I don't think they're going to call for a duel in the Sand People territory, so let's, uh, let's make sure we check all this area first. If we don't run into too many d or whatever. Yeah, that's interesting. I would have, I would have expected that to... Would it have triggered by now? I guess it would have. Nothing said where the fight takes place other than in the Dune Sea. Are we really going to hold it in this cave? Where the star map was? So we've already searched all that when we were last year. There's our star map. Alright, maybe it was on the other side of the sand crawler then. Or are we really going to have to go all the way out into the dune sea? Because again, the journal didn't say... See. Too bad there's no uh, display on map option. Like, <laughs> please, get, at least give me a hint. Or am I gonna have to just keep crawling the dune sea, wandering this way and that, taking up more time than I would have expected on a side quest, just so I can go kill a fool. So nothing here. Surely it's not in the same people territory. We just checked this area. Well, let's head back to the Dune Sea. <laughs> Sorry. A little tickle on the back of my throat. That's a corpse. But where would they like this duel to take place? Let's go see if the people over here know anything about that. I honestly would have expected the duel to trigger the second... Oh, is the... Here we go. All right. 
Let's make this ah, happen. So you managed to come after all. I see you brought friends. You brought some of your own as well. Ha! Indeed I did. I foresaw that you might need help, so I arranged a distraction. Alright, you talk too much and do too little. Tempting. I came by my own will, or Candor's works for me. Uh, I came I by my own I do not need will. to hear your excuses, Jedi. I know why he brought you. Enough of this talk, Joggy. Let's do what we came here to do. <laughs> let's do it. Both of you are acting like children. Uh, let's see if we can calm we the situation We both know down. the stakes here, and we both know what we must do. It is only in death that this can end. This is a matter of honor. I cannot stand by this insult. I must do this! Alright, uh... In the battle above the world of Althir, he ordered us to attack the enemy flank, promising us support. But when he saw better prospects for his own glory, he abandoned us and left us to die surrounded by enemies. If I had not attacked when I did, the battle would not have been won so easily. It would still have been won. You sent your own men to die there, Candorus. I cannot forgive you for what you did to us. You will pay. That's not the way it <laughs> happened. Uh... But why did you abandon them? The Alfiri were fighting hard. I saw a break in their defenses that left their center exposed. I had to take the chance. If I had not done what I did, many more warriors would have died and the battle would have taken much longer. I stand by my decision. You coward. You glory hunter. You were given direct orders and were part of a plan. You had a responsibility to us. <laughs> I... I can regret their loss. But it was necessary. <laughs> okay. So I could try to persuade that it was a smart tactical move. I could try to persuade that people die. I could just launch into an attack, or I could force persuade you don't want to fight. Uh, I'm tempted to take the force persuade, because that is most definitely the easy way out. And uh, that, that might even be the light side way, just to get the combat done. But I'm not sure it'll help me with Candorous. And I'd rather not have an obstinate teammate. But I could try to persuade. All right, let's try. I have had enough of your prattle, Jedi. This is between Candorous and I, and we shall settle this now, okay. once and for all. All right then. Okay. Guess you are getting attacked. Right, let's uh... Try to end that quick. to go up first. Then toss him in stasis, and then double down on this dude. Overly 
dramatic much? Alright. Let's rifle your pockets. Give what you got. Let's... Alright, you have no pockets to rifle. And what about you, big bad... Emperor? Okay. Alright, Candors. I... I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been. I just need time. Okay. Not what I expected. Alright, let us fast travel back to the Ebon Hawk, because that's all we came here to do. I'm going to hop up on the ship. And as much as I would really like to continue, especially since there are almost certainly new discussion options amongst some of the crew. I'm trying not to push my luck. All right, let me, let me try a couple of the crew that I know we haven't done hit their side quest for How yet. How may like, I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is what it you would like to speak about? to me about? Right, of no. course. If there is anything else, I am here to help. Double check in with Julie. Got something on your mind, do <laughs> you? Mentioned something about your Did I say days? that? Strange the trick's memory plays on you when you get older. <laughs> so you weren't Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? <laughs> Fino, I won't. Fine, I won't to you questions ever again. I think there's a word or two missing in there. Uh, you're just not used to the company. Stop being an old coot. But you've already said so much. I'm curious. Let's try the nicer one. Look, I'm not, not here him. to satisfy your curiosity. No staring oh. at the old man. That's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history. Probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. <laughs> You're right, I'd rather not be bored. I'm not a kid. Yeah, well, old people love to talk about history. Proven fact. Oh, Let's fine, throw it back fine. at him. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely <laughs> everything. Sound familiar? Feeling. Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Oh. How did that happen? At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. I still can't believe you actually did that. Where did you get the credits for all the supplies? Was it very dangerous? Let's go. Was it was oh, very dangerous. It was. I was a half decent pilot in those days, and with the force guiding me, we made it through some tough spots nobody else would have. Oh, you're a pilot, too. Pilot, smuggler, several other things, too. Or did you suppose I was always a crotchety hermit? Well, uh, since he asked. Oh, but that's not an option. So where'd you get the Well, credits? we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. <laughs> Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Uh-huh. Some people were happy to donate goods. Like the Mandalorian's buddy was happy to donate his uh, spare supplies. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have <laughs> donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only okay, got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. So what well, happened? As it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... You well, were. that... that was the day I met my wife. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry, bad memory, or your wife you were married. Let's go with... Your wife you were married? You know another way to get a wife? But yes, that's when I met her. I... If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Well, okay then. I got a funny feeling we'll have more to talk about later. Alright, what about you, Candorus? You got anything yeah, new what for do you me? want? What are your thoughts? This thing now? with Joggy, I I don't know. Give me some time and I'll be able to sort this out on my own. Is there something else you wanted? Nope. Your Nothing choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Alright, then let's go ahead and save. Alright, I know this ended up being a shorter shorter go around than most. Um, like I said at the top, I did end up hurting my back earlier, and while it is okay, I'm trying not to push my luck. So while I'm still mostly alright and we made some progress, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right now and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. If you're watching this on Mixer or Twitch, there's a link to the YouTube channel down in the description where you can catch up on all the back episodes and keep tabs on what's going on. If you'd like to get notified of when I upload other archives and produce content, which should be coming soon, go ahead and do the whole subscribe and notification bell thing. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the follow uh, or uh, sub or whichever the terminology is, depending on whether you're on Mixer or Twitch. And you'll be notified when I go live. Currently, I stream twice a week, Thursdays. I do Games Revisited, which we just did. And for Season 1, we're playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm starting to draw plans for the next season, even though I know I've got a few more months worth of material. Especially at the current rate of progress. And uh, on Tuesdays, I stream CoffeeCraft. That is a Minecraft survival server that I share with a couple other friends and you can find out more about the server at coffeecraft.us and you can watch all the back live streams that we've got going there on the youtube channel and uh there we go if you'd like to help out if you'd like to support or at least send some coffee my way live.anonjunior.com is where you can go you can donate and It'll give you one place to hit all the YouTube archives, links to my Mixer channel, my Twitch channel, the YouTube channel, and my main website, anonjunior.com. So with all that said and done, thank you. Good night.